Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. I'm at my second mining location today and I'm just gonna do some reminiscing and just give you guys an update what's been going on here and what I'm mining on all of these different rigs here. But first, I just want to show you guys my box wall. It's, it's been growing in the past year and definitely I've been loving just looking at this box wall. You know, with all the rigs that I have here and the rigs that I have at my first mining location and also third mining location, which you guys know are all GTX 1060s, so most of the 12 GPUs are, uh, 12 GPU boxes are right here. But yeah, you know, I would love to grow this second mining location and, you know, add a bit more power and all that kind of stuff. But obviously that, that would be a little bit harder to do because my power situation is a little bit dire. As you know, you guys, I've, I've shown you guys before, I'm already using 30 amps here, breaker on, on that, on the 100 amp service right there. So, and I would love to add another 30, but with the restrictions that I have at this current location, the second mining location, there's, you know, a renter and another family here, and there's dishwashers, there's washers and dryers, double, wa two washers and dryers. So to have, to add another 30 amp breaker to this, to this setup here would not work, in my opinion. I don't want to, I don't want to overload the, the whole circuit here already. So, and as you guys can see, I have the 30 amp breaker there, situated there. A single cable going here into the trip light PDU. Now this is a 240 volt 30 amp PDU, and this is a metered one as well. So you guys can see here, I'm utilizing only about uh, 17 amps total, okay? So 17 amps total here with all of these rigs I have about seven rigs here and most of them are, these are all, these five here are GTX 1060s and two of them are GTX 1060 with three gigabytes of VRAM and these three here are GTX 1060s with six gigabytes and then I have my trusty old Radeon 7 on the bottom here. You guys all know this, you guys all know this video card, such a beautiful card. I wish I could buy more, but you know, those are really expensive. Who knows, maybe one day I'll add a bunch more Radeon 7s onto this frame. And then you guys know my good old recent RX 480 build, eight of them with all Samsung memory, just a beautiful rig. I love this, I love this rig. And it's mining at about 250 mega hash at about 900 watts at the wall. Okay, so pretty efficient, not too bad. I got these cards for pretty much the same price as buying one Radeon 7, okay? But I'm getting 250 mega hash versus 90 mega hash on the Radeon 7. So depends how you look at it. The main thing for me, I wanted to buy these cards because they're just so baller looking and really nice looking. They have RGB, all that kind of stuff. Except for I have one of the cards here. One of the, one of the cards doesn't have the RB, RGB working, so that's okay though, that's fine. And yeah, I really love this rig. This is the RX 480 rig, guys. I, I really like it, and I, I actually want to build more. So if I'm, I'm actually talking with Nerd Gears to see if I can build another 8x RX 480 rig and put it up there, because I still have, I still have enough power uh, to use. Because I told you guys I'm using about 17 amps at, at the moment. And I could probably add another, you know, I could go up to 24 amps safely on this trip light PDU. So I can add potentially probably another couple more rigs onto this PDU here. Probably run out of shelf space. I'd add another rig up top there and another rig at the bottom. But I've actually been thinking of selling some of my GTX 1060 cards, okay? And the reason for that is because I've been have I've had these cards now for about three years. They've been mining for a good three years now. They definitely paid themselves off, and I would like to upgrade so I could sell these cards locally. Um, some of these I would probably keep the six gigabyte cards and sell the three gigabyte cards. I would I would I would sell those rigs maybe and upgrade to maybe P one hundred fours or 1660 TIs. I, I'm not sure. 
I, I want to I wanna increase my density per se, okay? Density, and what I mean by that is cards that are able to hash a lot more, but also they're probably going to take a bit more power consumption. But, you know, I'm running out of space, running out of power. I think I should consolidate, right? I want to consolidate my rigs, consolidate my GPUs so that I can get better hash rates, uh, more hash rate per se. So that would be fun. And yeah, guys, I'm just thinking what to do. I have a lot of stuff I could I could do. You guys can probably see my wooden old wooden frames here. These are from 2017, like, like the beginning of 2017. This is initially what I had most of my mining rigs on uh, before I built my aluminum angle frames. I initially had these uh, wooden frames, and man, they were they were quite they, these were quite something back then. A lot of people were were afraid of having wooden frames as their mining rigs because it would, it would be a fire hazard. Obviously, it's a fire hazard, but really, do computer components really combust that often? I, I really haven't heard of a mining rig, you know, going up in flames. So I, I did mention before in another video that if anyone needs, wants a mining rig frame, these are for free. I'm willing to give these out for free. Locally, I, I'm not going to ship these out to anywhere. It's not worth shipping so if anyone, you know, wants to meet somewhere and uh, I'd be happy to give these wooden frames to anybody who wants them. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's just a little update I gave. I want to give you guys here. Oh, right. What am I mining on all of these rigs here? Okay, so let's start from the bottom. The Radeon 7. I am currently mining for this month Vertcoin. Okay, I am mining Vertcoin and I think... I think I'm getting about 2.5 to 3 vert coin a day on a single Radeon 7, which is quite amazing. I will have an update video of the profitability on October sometime, okay? Mid-October, I'll have a profitability video. Next rig on the bottom here, I have the 7x GTX 1060 3 gigabyte cards. And these are now mining Aeon, okay? I've been mining Aeon on most of these rigs because the DAG or the memory requirement to mine Aeon is I think one gigabyte. So you can pretty much have any video card mine Aeon and these are really good to mine Aeon on right now so I have these mining Aeon. I've said Aeon probably like 20 times already. So good rig, keeping it on Aeon, really low power consumption, about 500 watts total system. Now next one, you guys know the 480 rig, that's mining Ethereum right now. Uh, Ethereum Classic, sorry, on wattpool.net. So total about 900 watts. You guys know that already. Next rig, this is a GTX 1060 six gigabyte rig. These are the EVGA mini ones. And they're okay, these cards are all right. I've had these for a long time. These were, I think, yeah, these are my first cards I ever bought six of before, initially. And they these cards are mining Ethereum Classic as well. Yeah, these are on Ethereum Classic and it takes about 500 watts, 540 watts at the wall. And these are Zotac 6 gigabyte cards and these are mining Ethereum Classic as well on wattpool.net. And I have the GTX 1060 gigabyte extreme cards. These are mining Ethereum as well on wattpool.net, good old wattpool.net. And this rig has been really good. These cards are really nice. One bad thing about these cards is the overclocks on them. So they're BIOS locked to have a higher frequency. And so mining and power consumption on them is higher. The power consumption on these cards are definitely a lot higher than the regular mini 1060s. So this rig actually takes about 700 watts versus 500 watt total system on um, compared to the mini cards, okay? so. Still, really nice cards. I really like these. And then lastly, I have the GTX 1060 3 gigabyte cards. These are seven of them, and they all have Samsung memory. And really nice cards. I have these on mining Aeon right now. Same with this rig down here. So two rigs mining Aeon. Really good power consumption, about 580 watts, I believe, for all seven cards on mining Aeon. So. Pretty profitable, low power consumption. I love this rig, but uh, I'm thinking of selling these cards because I want to, 
uh, like I said before, have more density, more hash rate, that kind of thing. So anyways, guys, that's just the update of my mining, second mining location now. I, I really enjoy what I have here and everything. I wish I could add more power, but like I said, uh, it, I'm not able to because of the power restrictions and uh, what you know what's been going on at this current location here anyways guys I would like to know what you guys think of what I have here I love this place I definitely want to add or change some cards I'm ready to buy some ner some new cards on nerdgears.com let me know what you think I appreciate you guys for watching smash the like button all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out